Hey everyone, it's Lily720. Today we will be continuing with Dark Cloud. It's 5 a.m. recording time because I'm crazy and I watched something that creeped me out like a little bit before um, wanting to go to sleep, so I'm uh, really awake now. Anyway, uh, let's go back into the Divine Beast Cave. Uh, last time, our dagger broke and we were unable to move on. Um, off screen, I went and um, finished up that floor so now we can enter the fourth floor and there are no atmospheres so I guess a significant event is going to be happening uh, usually when there are no atmospheres that means something special is gonna happen we will get into a little bit more of what that could mean but for now let's just go and check out what's going on I may not be able to show you the other special thing that happened while I was uh, playing, like, you know, um, while not recording. Oh, do I have to... I don't know what's happening here. I think we're gonna get introduced to a different fighting strategy. <laughs> now you die! Um, alright. Okay. I will get to show you. So, I found a new weapon that is much better than the dagger and the baselord. It is the Chris knife. And for where we are now, this is probably one of the best weapons. Uh, maybe second to only. Mm, I'm gonna still say second of the like the best that we can get around now. Um, weighing all of you know everything attack and especially the weapon hit points i'm looking at but anyway now that we have this um we will be better at fighting oh look at that that was beautiful oh so beautiful Ooh, i like this enemy tone he's a tough one tone freaking whatever you will have to duel him a duel is a special form of combat. Controller button markers will move from right to the left. Press the right button when they line up with the light blue bar. Arrows such as left mean press in that direction with either the directional buttons or the left analog stick. The closer the button mark is to the center of the blue bar when you press it, the better your rating will be. If you hit all of the marks with the right timing, you'll be victorious. When the duel starts, you will be given indication of it with this mark. Be aware of it. Here it begins. Stay focused. Now, they're a little lenient. Like, as long as you get it in the blue part, then you should be good. If you get all the, you know, all the buttons. Um, if you get them all in the very center, you actually get, like, a special prize um, from the duel. I'm not worried too much about that. It, it's going to be okay. I have a better easier way of leveling up weapons quickly because we're going to need it fairly quickly anyway let's get started with this duel if i fail i apologize excellent excellent a present from the fairies of terra acquired turquoise okay um turquoise is a gem that we can attach it's just it's well it's not quite a regular attachment we use it as such but it'll improve something or some things by a lot so this will improve nothing on the first page um plus 10 ice plus 10 anti-rock and anti-mimic um i'm gonna go ahead and start I guess uh, beefing up this weapon um, I think uh, given that it'll last long enough um, I'm gonna make this weapon the weapon that I attempt to build up normally what is this Ooh, power up powder that's fun um, yeah the weapon that I attempt to build up normally I'll explain a little bit more as I get further into it, um, but for now, let's just move on. Let's take a look at our inventory real quick. Quick. Okay, 
We have one bread, one water, one repair powder, one antidote. We should be able to move on to the next floor, considering we didn't really do a whole lot on this floor. Oh, what now? Oh, this fucking guy, I swear to God. How's it going? Got the hang of it yet? The floors beneath this one are even tougher. Now to the advanced course to give you a fair chance against the meaner enemies down below. Are you using your charge attack when fighting enemies? Hold the circle button down and after your body flashes, release it. You can also hold down the X button if I'm thinking of the same thing. With this you'll do a jump slash. It's effective against flying enemies and ground enemies. Let's talk more about weapons. So, how are your weapons growing? If you don't start upgrading them now, you can get into trouble later. Before you upgrade, it is a good idea to keep attachments on. If you upgrade with them on, then the weapon can absorb the power of the attachment to add to its own power. But there is a power limit for each weapon. There is no need to upgrade its ability beyond this limit. When weapons reach level 5, or, um, higher than 5, or greater, fuck, they can status break. I didn't read on because it was the end of the line. Anyway, a status break is breaking down a weapon into a synth sphere that contains the power of that weapon. If you install this onto other weapons as an attachment, you can add the old weapon's attributes to the new weapon. The attributes in the synth sphere will add to the new weapon's attributes permanently when the sphere is absorbed. However, the attributes received may be less than that of the weapon before being made into a synth sphere. If the new weapon's limit is higher, then you can make a more powerful weapon. Pretty cool, huh? That's it for today's lecture. Take care of yourself. I will always be watching you. Okay, so when our weapon hits level 5, we can status break it, turn it into a synth sphere, and that makes it turns it into a, an attachment. It seals 60% um, of the weapon's power into um, an attachment, which we can place onto our weapons to make them better. And um, if you're going to build up your weapon normally, then you're going to be using a lot of synth spheres. That's probably the fastest way. Um, gems are also good, but they're harder to acquire. Um, that's kind of what sucks about building up weapons in this game is oftentimes you'll need to build up other weapons to um, level 5 in order to status break it and put it on the weapon that you are really intending to build up. God damn it, I'm poisoned. Um, but let's kill this thing. Okay, and also in the last floor we got an item we got this one, power up, po power up powder. It will upgrade our weapon uh, regardless of the absorption meter. So it's pretty cool. It's not uh, totally common. It kind of depends on your luck, and mine is usually pretty rotten. Um, so I'm gonna have to upgrade my weapons manually by just fighting enemies and. It's good to come to the Divine Beast Cave uh, for that. I mean, you probably absorb less from enemies, but you also die less. So, I don't know. Low risk, low reward, I guess. But it's nice to not have to worry about dying or how many weapons you really have. And because we didn't get to see the like floor select screen, I have no idea how many um, atmospheres there are here. Alright, so at least that thing is dead. I hate the statues. They come, like, earlier than you can handle them, kind of. Like, I don't know, it's kind of strange to explain. Maybe not really, maybe I'm just not good with words. Anyway. We got, what, three atmospheres here? A candy box. I think I know who that goes to. Uh, we, I don't think we've acquired that person yet. 
Anyway, let's continue on and oof, take a chance. Oh shit, <laughs> okay. That was a bad mysterious circle and the weapon hit points of our uh, weapon decreased quite drastically actually. Ah, oh, the statues. These things, I hate them so much. Oh hey, but we got the Drans Crest. What sucks about this game too is I noticed they like to put the um the items like or the uh, cave keys in like the toughest enemies for you to defeat on each floor. Kind of annoying um, because then you can't move on, but. Um, I don't know. I guess it's it's okay. It makes sense, I suppose, but still. At least we don't have to kill any more statues. That's nice. And yet more stand-in powder. Um, we get that. It allows us to switch out to uh, another one of our characters. We get um, five more characters in this game, so six total. Um... And it's just like... Oh, we don't have any yet. Stand in powder, when the character we're playing as dies, we get to use that one next. And I don't know. It really doesn't have a purpose right now. But I don't know. It will later, sort of. But I hardly use it. I usually just buy revival powder so that I can just stay alive. Ooh, power up powder. All right, what this game is gonna continuously do is prove me wrong. Um, it's hmm. I'm trying to think if it's like kind of the opposite of the LP curse, where like people start to do worse when they're recording. Um, it's not really that. I do better when recording. I still kind of suck at games, but things will kind of go my way a little more in a in a game where things are random like this. Um, like I'll be like, oh, you know, you never get power up powder. You never get tram oil, which is another key item. Um, and I've gotten two of those already in a very short amount of time. So. Uh, what can you do except just smile and nod because you look like a dumbass. Anyway, oh, I'm getting thirsty. Yeah, let's just drink the water. We're almost done anyway. Oh, no. I don't care about the manuals. Alright. We're just going to keep going out. We're going to keep going. Hopefully we can get the item that makes us move faster fairly soon because this speed is killing me. Alright, we're actually going to leave this time. And before we finish, we're going to take a look and see what we can place for our Giorama parts. Um, just... Quickly, I want to mention Gaffer's Buggy. He is, this is um, like the store for this, uh, this area of the game. Um, we don't have any... We don't know what he wants yet. And we're not going to worry about that for a little while. Because you want to get... Is it this character? Yes. You want to get Pike. This guy that I'm highlighted on right now. You want to get him kind of settled in. Uh, first before you complete Gaffer's Buggy. The reason for that is uh, during the event that Gaffer's Buggy has when you finish his area or his um, his store uh, he will be putting the sign up. If Pike is down then he will put the sign up for Odd Gaffer and um, he'll be able to sell his full array of um, items but if he doesn't if pike isn't there when you do the event 
Gaffer will put the sign up himself, hurt his back, and not be able to bring in as many items as he normally would. Um, so you just want to make sure that you have Pike set up, meaning you want to have Paige's house to start. And, um, crap. I never can remember which way to face my house or Tone's house or whatever. But we're going to start putting stuff in anyway. The windmills don't really matter. We'll put them in later when everybody gets settled. So let's start. Cute little one. Shaggy animal. Always oh, that's the mom. The llama. This is Tone's llama. He has a llama, I guess. Um, keg. Okay, so we're not... Everything else is okay. We're not even going to talk to Odd Gaffer yet. Um, but we are gonna try and talk to Tone's mother. Tone, you're alright. Oh good, don't worry me anymore, please. I'm kinda saving the world here, lady. And I'm looking for items. And that doesn't open. Anything? I guess this is my equivalent of a room. Uh, anyway, let's talk to her again. How should I rebuild Norun? Let's see, it'd be lovely if the morning sun would come in from the upstairs window and wake me up. Can I... Which direction? No, I just wanna... Oh, there we go. Where is the... Is there only one window? No, there are... Multiple. We're just gonna keep rotating the house until she's happy. Uh, tell me how to rebuild your house. It's your own house tone? Our house had a chimney. And it, had its, and it had a storage room. Don't you remember what your own house was like? There was something strange about her inflections there. Anyway. Um. Okay. Let's see what else we can put in. S storage room. Oh, no. Okay. Nothing. We cannot put anything else in. So I'm going to try and see what orientation of the house will make her the happiest. She'll tell you when it is. Apparently it's not this way. Alright, I don't know what um, this crazy bitch wants, but um, <laughs> I think I'm just going to deal with that later. I don't know. Maybe because she wants the sun to come up, like, through the windows and wake her up. It actually needs to be morning first, and I don't know. We'll, we'll deal with it. We can move things around still. Um, so anyway, I think that'll be it for this part, and we can do more of the Divine Beast Cave after I go talk to the mayor about um, getting more items, and... Yeah, that will that will be good for the next time, so that'll be about it for this time. Thank you very, very much for watching, and I will see you later.